The inquest into the of Hannah Clark and her three children has heard Rowan Baxter was evil and would have her no matter what. Yesterday, the inquest tracked Baxter's movements in the days leading to the fatal attack when he poured petrol on Ms. Clark and their three children before setting them on fire in February 2020. Ms. Clark's parents, Sue and Lloyd Clark, told the inquest in a harrowing victim impact statement the incident had stayed with them ever since. Hannah Clark with her three children Aliyah, Liana and Trey. Sue Clark said the children's toys still remain where they left them before their s. She sobbed as she told the court, we will never again be complete. The girls' room is as they left it that morning two years ago, she said. I can't bring myself to pack up their toys. Lloyd Clark said he asks himself why he didn't see Baxter's actions coming. Thousands of people march in Newcastle against domestic violence. Hannah Clark's parents spoke of their grief at losing their daughter and grandkids in the final day of the inquest. The counsel assisting the coroner told the inquest Ms. Clark was in immediate danger after leaving Baxter, adding her estranged husband had single-minded OU's intent. The inquest, which concluded today, had earlier revealed Baxter's plot was pre-mediated. Every now and then a true monster is born and you can't stop them, Sue Clark said. Data from our watch reveals one woman a week is by a male partner in Australia. Six women have been by their partners in Australia in the last three weeks. The findings of the inquest into Ms. Clark and her children's will be handed down in June. Yesterday, a domestic violence support service worker told the inquest dousing incidents had increased by 50% since Ms. Clark's, often used to intimidate a partner. The coroner will consider the findings of the inquest and make recommendations to prevent similar attacks from taking place. The need for greater police training to handle domestic violence cases, making up 40% of all policing work, is predicted to feature strongly in recommendations. The Queensland government is also considering new laws to criminalise coercive control. The findings of the inquest are expected to be handed down by the coroner in June and will reveal if there were opportunities missed in the handling of Ms. Clark's case. Mr. Clark said he hopes the inquest shines a light on abusive relationships and can prevent future loss of life.